Hello everyone, how are you doing today? Uh, today we have a brand new laptop. This one is a Huawei laptop. This one comes with an AMD Ryzen 5. And uh, these are one of the really cool laptops I like. The only feature I really like about this laptop, they have the mic right in the front and the camera is not, is not on the top side of the screen. The camera in here, it's a really nice and hidden camera right in the middle between F6 and F7. So you just push down this one and the camera comes up in 45 degree angle. This is really nice and sweet. All right. So pretty much in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to replace your battery for this laptop. Number one, you will need a uh, screwdriver set. I really recommend you guys to grab this iFixit tool set as they have one of the best uh, set of the bits that you need for opening laptops or any other electronics. We're going to be using Torque number five and uh, Phillips number zero from this screwdriver set. Also, you will be needing an uh, opening tool. You can use a opening tool that comes with a set. They actually sell an extended set for the iFix set. Or you can grab a, uh, what's called a guitar pick. I recommend the guitar pick because it's really cheap and it's like a, the metallic one is really tough. So yeah, so let's grab torque number five and we're gonna go ahead and remove all the screws at the bottom cover here. We, Every one of them, they're all the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. All right, once you remove the um, bottom screws, what you want to do, you want to grab your opening tool and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover, just like this. Maybe you want to do it on the sides. The easier way will be to stuff on the back, let's not make a big deal. So you go to the back corner right here and stick it in the back corner and you want to just lift it up just like that. And you want to hear those clicks and you want to go to the side and work your way all around. You have to twist it just like that. And now you can walk yourself towards the front and twist. And once you go like a halfway through, the top cover is just going to come loose. This is the top cover. You can go ahead and clean it up. Really nice build. I like the bottom chassis. All right. Next, what you want to do here, you're going to see the big battery right in front of you. To remove the battery, you're going to need to switch to bit number Phillips 0. There's only a few screws. There's one screw right there, a screw right here on the warranty label, and a screw right at the back. So you can go ahead and remove these screws. Once you remove the screws, you can actually go ahead and lift up the battery and pull it forward, and that's it. And now in this position, it's easier to grab the cable and the cable you want to pull it upward towards the ceiling, I guess. Let me see. Yep, you want to pull it towards the ceiling. These are not pull out, these are, you have to pull it upward because of the type of the hinge that they use. The battery model for this one is an HB4692Z9ECW-41. That's a pretty long name for a battery model. So once you get the new battery, this is a one, two, three, four cell battery. These are really long batteries. Okay, so you want to grab the battery. You want to first place the jack right on top evenly and push it down on the corner. Make sure the lock stays in place. Place the back end. The hinges go in and then bring it down and put the three screws right on top. By removing the battery, you do void the warranty. So keep that in mind because the warranty label is in the battery screw. 
All right. Now that we have the screws right here set, what you want to do, you can go ahead and clean it up if you want to. Grab the top cover, align it right on top. This is very important. Now, what you want to do, you want to press the corners down. And if some corners don't go down, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you guys how to put it in. You want to open up the laptop in 45 degree angle and you want to pinch it. Make sure you pinch it all the way in, just like that. You have to be pinched really nice and tough so you don't have any gaps opening. Now you can close it down, switch to torque number five and go ahead and place the bottom screws. I hope you guys liked this video and if you guys did like this video and helped you guys out, please click that thumbs up button and if you have any questions or any requests, you know where to leave them. And again, I really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.